Deck the walls with gold and jiggies. La 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 la, the cow and trot. Stop the feast of little twinklies. Bra ta 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 ta, ta tap tap rap. Grunty Slayer is a large place to be. Bear and bird spit eggs in Juju's face. Pew 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 pew. No. Knock the hat off, sir, slush no man. Be 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 bum. Steal the treasure off, grab his hand. Rubba, 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 running shoes. Poop an egg in the flower pot. The, 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 thank you. Saving 2D, that's the main plot. Scratch, 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 scratch. Punch and 3, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1. Whistle, winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Click, 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 click clock, wood. Press the witch switch using beak buster. Flap, 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 flap. Have until the rough and the bluster. Grr, 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 Come, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Silence in Your Own Nine's newest Let's Play project, Banjo Kazooie. Tis the season to be jolly, right, guys? Ha 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 ha. Ah, I've been itching to do this game for some time. You have no idea, guys. It's just, it, it's fine. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm finally going to do it. I'm finally going to get down and do Banjo Kazooie. I was just itching to do this game, but I didn't. When I first started off, I didn't really want to start off with this one. It did cross my mind, honestly, guys, but I didn't start off with it because I didn't feel comfortable with the technology. Still kind of still learning a few tricks and whatnot, but for the most part, I feel comfortable enough to say I want to do a really good job on a Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play. Okay, in this Let's Play, um, I'm going to be doing 100% completion for sure. Um, I'm doing this on the Nintendo 64 console, so if you'll notice there wasn't like a little questionnaire asking what I like in English, France, I guess, or... What's that, guys? I got a burp. Excuse me. Oh, man. It's like I want to run after that. Or German. Um... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. I will be, um... Uh, just in case you're curious, I will be doing the dorky... At voice acting, I know, guys, you so look forward to that, and some of you are like, oh my gosh, seriously, that's not gonna die today. Nope, 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 that's coming with this one, too. Um, the reason I chose this game, simply because I grew up with it, uh, in the, like, what was it, 98, 99? That was the, that was like my big year for me, because... Uh, that was the year when it was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's gonna be 2000 soon, it's gonna be 2000, you know, just like a dork. I guess. I think I was in, ele uh, yeah, I was in elementary school at the time, so. Uh, another reason is because Banjo-Kazooie is one of my favorite games, and so are the characters, Banjo and Kazooie. And, and the, the last reason is because it 
of World 5 in this game, and I'm not going to spoil it yet, in case any of you actually haven't looked at any other LPs of this, or have bothered to play it yet, so. Um, oh, one more thing. I will not forget to do Majora's Mask. I did promise you I would do that. Seriously, guys, I do promise I'll still get on Majora's Mask, but I'm not going to start on that until after I finish Ocarina of Time. I am foreseeing that in January. Uh, mostly because holidays are coming up, I'm going to be spending time with the family and whatnot. So yes, this is going to be kind of pre-recorded, oh my gosh. But I'm getting better at pre-recording, so I won't be say stating like old, too much old news and just rambling on about the time. But anyway, I'm rambling away the time here right now, so without a further ado, let's begin a Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play by moving over to the guy who's cooking. Because that's actually why well, I didn't do that today, but I gotta do it today. I gotta make some Christmas cookies. Yeah, I gotta make some chocolate chip. I'm gonna shut now. Kazooie! 
Sure is a strange looking bunny, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy! What was all that noise, bro? Where's my sister, Duty? The ugly witch Grantilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Kiki. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Okay, this is what I was talking about. He gives you the option. Bottles does, by the way. I don't know if he said his name, but that's Bottles. Uh, to whether or not you would like to learn your moves. I actually thought about going around and saying, yeah, I'll show you guys where the Mahal Hills are and learn moves that way, but I'm like, mm, no, I'm going to go ahead and not do that because I, I went through it because I was thinking there's going to be some like really smart Alex satirical crack remarks that Kazooie makes because as you can tell, Kazooie's got quite a personality and there really wasn't any worthwhile, so I'm like, yeah, I'll just go ahead and speed this up and get going and rolling. Alright, before we go anywhere, the first thing you want to do is come by the house, come on this trash can, and if you chose to learn the move already, you can do this. If not, go learn the move Flip Flap, and kind of jump, jump, and Flip Flap up, and you get yourself an extra man up the top, top just above the chimney. And another thing you should notice, every item you get in this game practically will talk to you. It's a really interesting game. You're no longer talking to yourself, you're just talking to the four walls. You're not talking to everybody. Uh, right here, if you decided, again, I'm just going to like point out where the mole hills are. I just did a rat attack tap by the way. And that's a honeycomb. Um, he tells you about the camera right here, if you go here. Uh, you can control the camera using the C buttons. Look, left, right. Down goes out or in. There's like three levels. And then R will put the camera right behind you if you press it. This is for the N64, of course. I don't quite know what the 360 is or emulator controls are. So Over here is where you learn to jump. And um, as you go through and learn your stuff, you actually will be uh, able to collect these things known as extra honeycomb pieces. These extra honeycomb pieces, for every six you collect, you will be able to collect a new energy unit for your life. Which comes in handy, especially when it comes to really uh, tricky levels that love to knock all the starch out of you. Uh, let's see here, I'm gonna take my little time here. Oh, I'm gonna rush through it! Rush through it! Run! Run like the wind! I'm gonna tree. I'm gonna take out this topper here. Oh yeah! Now we're gonna, I wanna say, fly, flap, flap, or something. I don't remember. I don't quite know. I got it right here, I think. Uh, feathery flap. There we go. And if you come over here by the waterfall, there's another extra man. I think the maximum amount of extra men you can carry, and I would be the guy that freaking no, knows. I think it's like eight or nine. Uh, I, would believe, I believe it's nine extra men. Strange number, I know. I guess they never wanted to go in the double digits. But, to be honest, from all the goodies you get in this game, I really don't think you're going to need them. Okay, let's see here. That's a Cobber Wobble, I think. I knocked him out. He's just... He gave me an evil, suspicious look, and I'll trust him. You gotta watch everything, because everything's watching you here. It's kind of like a freaky Twilight Zone, man. It's like, oh, look, you look nuts! Come on now, let's get out of the water. Okay, oh uh, yes, uh, I don't quite remember what these guys' names are. The top, off the top of my head, I want to say Resnor, but I know that's wrong, because that's the name of the rhinos from Super Mario World, so I'm like, derp. Crap. Oh well. I'm not too concerned about the names of the enemies as they have the characters. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. One more to go, then. So let's step on out of here, continue our uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. clockwise direction. On up here. This is where you learn combat, I believe. Yes. You learn how to punch, rat a tap tap, and <coughs> rolling, uh, the rolling punch. I have, or rather not punch, I'm sorry, you use scratch, is what it's called. But 
I don't really know the name half the time because I don't use it as often because it is the weakest punch and it's kind of like a blind th like blind fist of fury. It, it can come in handy, I guess, if you're a person who likes to sit still and do it to it. But yeah. Let's see. That one. That one I, I'm not. I don't care. You guys probably don't care. <laughs> that one taught you to swim. In. That one taught this one over here taught you how to climb. The molehills is what I'm referring to, guys. Um, and I was so rude. <laughs> to interrupt Mr. Bottles when he was letting us know we're, that we need to go up to the top of Spiral Mountain, that would probably be this giant mountain that we're climbing up right now, as soon as we got all the moves, or as soon as we were ready, basically. Since we have both. <laughs> so, you ready to tackle the witch now? We sure are! Show us the way, Bottle Boy! Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Oh boy. And so it began. I love this game. I have to say though, I love this game. I love the music and I love everything about it. Oh, this is good right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just like overly dramatic. This fun contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and too old. Let me go, you fat hag! My brother will come and kick your butt! Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Kanye! Push that switch! I'm tired of being an ugly witch! Yes, Mr. Grandy, power is on. So My tricks and traps will see who wins. <laughs> Throughout the entire game, mostly inside her lair area, you'll notice that she'll do that very frequently. She will taunt you the entire time. Uh, when, when you first enter, you want to head to your left. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead myself. Come on over here and get a jiggy. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find the picture with the piece missing. Jiggy Wiggies will be our key ticket for traveling around. I mean, well, one of the key tickets, I should say. I don't know really what to compare it to other than it's, I guess you could say it's like the boss, uh, not the boss key, I guess. It's like several dungeons. Uh, I don't know what to think, but you're going to need plenty of those Jiggy Wiggies. Since I'm 100%ing it, I'll be able to show you guys how and where to get all your Jiggies. Uh, on the first world, obviously. Wow, that was really easy to find. Right over here. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. We got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy! Great! To fill in the missing spaces on a picture, and we're going to break the fourth wall by telling us what to do. Ha 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 ha. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and fill this in. Huzzah. And basically, each place is going to start off like this. They're going to open up. Or excuse me. They're going to open up with a picture that you have to fill in. Another smile. And they're not always going to be, like, right next door to the actual entrance, so keep that in mind when you're searching. Well, guys, before we enter Mumbo's Mountain, I'd like to say thank you all for joining me today. I hope this adventure will be a wild, crazy ride. Thank you all for watching again. Love y'all. Please don't let your tails fly out.